Hi guys, it is an unbelievably gorgeous day, over the top beautiful day, here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas here on Friday, November 2nd, 2018, and I have got a lot on my plate today, and uh, one thing that I have on my plate is a new feature I'm going to try out for a couple of months. Uh, to see how it plays on uh, <clears throat> Humpty Dumpty Tribe as I am trying to figure out where to take this channel and as I spend more and more time, would you stop chewing on yourself, uh, spend more and more time uh, over on Collapse Chronicles. So. Here is one idea, and I actually, I guess I started this yesterday, since I, I find out in my analytics that 90% uh, of people only make it seven minutes into my 30-minute Doomer headline roundup rants anyway. What I'm going to start uh, doing now is a new feature. It is going to be called the We Are So Fucked Doomer Headline of the Day story, where I'm going to zero in on one story that I find on the mainstream media or uh, that one of uh, my Alert Tribes members sends me, and just concentrate for about seven minutes. And I want to thank... Alert Tribes member Brother Daniel Geary for sending me today's We Are So Fucked headline of the day coming from my uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe heroes over at Vice News. They have one of their channels is called Motherboard. So this is from Vice News. Dot com news motherboard. <clears throat> Take it away, Vice. The seafloor is dissolving because of climate change. According to a new study, ocean acidification is setting off a dangerous feedback loop that is dissolving the very bottom of the ocean. <sighs> Jesus, folks. Carbon emissions are acidifying the ocean so quickly that the seafloor is now disintegrating. According to a study published this week in PNAS, don't know what that stands for, <clears throat> this sets off a feedback loop that, acidis that acidifies the ocean even more quickly a process that is already killing off foundational marine life species such as coral and threatening the balance of all ocean ecosystems on which we depend. This is a study, uh, the lead study author Oliver Suplis, an earth science researcher at McGill University. <clears throat> Quote, our study confirms that humans are now a geological force capable of impacting the Earth's system like a supervolcano or a meteorite impact. Close quote. So the root of the problem is that a foundational chemical reaction that keeps the oceans at, P, that at pH levels that are conducive to life is being thrown out of whack by climate change. No <clears throat> shit, Sherlock. Uh, it, 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 anyway, well, I'll, I'll go on with this. Uh, calcium carbonate or calcite lines the ocean floor and when calcite combines with carbon dioxide and water the reaction produces uh, 
calcium ions and bicarbonate ions, and because of this, the surrounding water becomes less acidic over long periods of time. Think tens of thousands of years, but when you throw more carbon dioxide into the equation, all of the seafloor, seafloor calcite starts to get used up to power these reactions in extremely large amounts, meaning that the ocean floor is now dissolving. Now there's not enough calcite, but more carbon dioxide than ever driving up acidity levels. Foundational species in the marine food chain such as coral are fine-tuned to thrive within a very particular range of pH levels and when those levels change for a long period of time these species as well as the fish, bacteria, mollusks, and ocean life that depend on them simply cannot survive. The last time our oceans were are acidic, were as acidic as they are now, 96% of ocean life was extinct. Um, there you go. Uh, according to Sulpice, uh, the rate at which we're emitting carbon dioxide, which then gets absorbed by the ocean, is far greater and far faster than the rate at which CO2 gets taken up by the calcium carbonate on the ocean floor. Um, in some areas adjacent to Europe, 40 to 1 hundred percent of the seafloor has been dissolved at the most severe lo <coughs> locations. Good God. Uh, anyway, I think uh, that is the bottom line of this story. The deadly consequences of our actions are already in motion. Based on our most optimistic forecast for ocean acidification, which assume that we fundamentally restructure our entire society in order to mitigate climate change, 90% of coral reef communities will bleach by 2100. In short, we are in trouble. No shit, Sherlock. So we're going to wrap up today's edition of the We Are So Fucked uh, Doomer headline of the day and we're going to head over now to mangabay.com for my ecological meltdown roundup rant of the week coming up in one minute. Bye guys.